What is up everyone, Minicaman here back with another video on the channel today, I hope you're all doing very well. And as you can see here, we are starting a new season on the Notch Career Mode in EAFC 24. Um, if you've seen the last video, you'll know how disastrously it went. We got sacked, and you're probably wondering why you can see Norwich versus Brenton as the first match of the season here. Well, what I have done is I've simulated a whole season, and I was going to go from wherever we, we got. So if we got relegated to League One, I was going to play from there. If we stay in the Championship, I was going to play from there. Um, and, well, we got promoted, so that's always good. Um, but I, I'll just have a look to see if I've got any stats for the last season in the simulation. All right, so here are the stats for the last season that I simulated. Um, we got automatic promotion and finished second, I think, with like 91, 93 points, something like that. Um, but yeah, here are the, here's a club record at the bottom. So we won 28, drew 17, lost seven. Um, so probably a bit better than what we did last season when we played the season. Um, but I think the reason mainly we got promoted is because the game absolutely loves Norwich. Um, because not, not obviously we already know Norwich aren't very good in real life right now. But um, the, 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 it's like we're just one of those teams that the game just always gets promoted as a, like a yo-yo club in in the game. And well, that's also helped us. We we got um, 60 million transfer budget, and now we can talk about this squad that we've got a lot a lot of changes. Um, not really in attack, but um, the the main the main man. Who was the most expensive signing? Kone here from Much and Gladback, I think, um, as a centre mid. I'm trying to convert him to a new CDM. He's got decent physical defending stats. In fact, um, just decent stats all well round. Um, trying to replace Kenny McLean with him. Um, hopefully, he could be a massive tank um, and stop the, well, control the engine of room of the field, obviously, um, as Kenny does. And but I think the main changes come in the defence. Um, let's talk about the other big money signing, Soleil from RB Salzburg. A couple of you wanted to see him in the squad, so I've got him. Good pace. I think the pace split's actually quite awful, um, but it should be better than well what we had last season anyway, um, with Hanley and Duffy <laughs> who were really slow. Um, but Inshua, uh, a free agent, probably the best free agent we've managed to sign. Um, maybe like. Is it like Carvajal's, maybe, his regen? Um, but blistering pace, decent defending and physical, and okay dribbling, which is really nice. Four-star weak foot, two-star skills, okay. Um, and then we've got another left-back, Cabral, who's also got decent pace. Defending's a bit low, but, I mean, we can increase that. Um, and he's around the same kind of levels as Demi Giannoulis is right now. Of course, um, I still have Demi and Jack Stacey if we need them, you know, for for stamina issues potentially um but the other another big signing that we've got for brighton here is verbruggen and he looks really really good 78 rated he's got really good uh, reactions 80 reactions for a goalie he's only 78 rated it's brilliant um good reflexes and kicking he's going to be a real really good hopefully um much better than angus gunn with his what what reactions angus gunn got 71 so it's, it's a lot higher um, and he's well, his stats are much better, so hopefully, he can keep a few clean sheets and well, stop a few more goals than Angus Gunn did last season, that's for sure. Um, but um, yeah, we got rid of Lambrovich as well, we got rid of, rid of a ton of players. I'm trying to think who we did get rid of. Rid of. Um, we got rid of McCallum, a lot of the young Norwich players. Um, we got rid of some of the centre backs, I think we got rid of Duffy. Um, well, we can look at we can look through the bench as well because there's some more free agents on the bench that were signed. Um, so we'll just look through the whole substitutes and reserves. Bauman is a centre forward. Um, I thought I'd just get him. He was a free agent just because why not? Uh, we really do need another striker, but I actually have no money left now after signing these three players. Um, the two main positions that I I didn't get players for that I wish I could have, um, but it was a money issue. It was uh, another right midfielder and another striker. Um, and I had I, I'd scout the players for those positions, so hopefully next season I can get a couple of them uh, with some more money, of course. But right now it's just not seeming possible. Uh, Boy signs are still there. We've still got um, I think Boy signs Johnny Rowe and Jolis is now back. Um, I think we sold Bajeta to Southampton. Uh, Dominique is a CDM free agent who I've replaced by um, Sorensen. 
Um, this is the other right winger. Sepulveda is his name, I believe. Uh, I, I think he's... I believe he's Argentinian. I can't check here. Um, but he is another free agent. Castro is also a really good um, uh, sub-centre-back. 69 pace, really good physicals and decent defending for a young player, obviously, because he's a free agent. Um, have we got anyone else? So here are the, obviously the other Norwich players that I've kept so far. Obviously, we might still sell some of them before the transfer window ends. Um, but Brady, another, I think he's 17 years old, another right back um, as a free agent. And Hams is also the, oh wait, we've got two free agents here. Cuevas is also another good um, sub kind of centre back to have in the team so we've got four decent centre backs really um, at the moment who are going to go up in rating especially these young boys really really nicely hopefully um, and Hamza's the well the reserve keeper decent stats but not the greatest reaction 63 but he's a young player anyway so hopefully in the you know, next couple of seasons he can get up to 75 rated potentially I don't know um, but that is the team anyway um, but yeah when I was um simulating the season i forgot to put development plans on the players so their ratings didn't go up as much as i would have liked but um i guess that is well because i simulate the season i guess that makes it a bit more fair than because obviously I, I basically failed the last season and you know i was going to go from wh wherever we got in the um the simulated season so we've got promoted we're gonna have to give it a right good go it's gonna be very tough obviously the objectives for this year i think are a lot easier because it's just avoid relegation stuff um, but we've already completed um, one of these objectives. Sign these two players. Sign four players in the youth academy. Sign to each of the following positions. We could do that. That's easy. Seven games with at least one goal scored in the league. We might be able to do that. Depends how well we could um, attack teams. Sell two players and sign two crucial players to replace them. Um, well, finish the season without any unspent transfer budget. I don't even know what that means. What's that mean? Finish mid-table, you're high. Mid-table? We've just been promoted. What is this game on about? At least it's low priority. <laughs> Alright, we're not going to get sacked this season. Because the medium priorities we're going to be able to complete. And there isn't a high priority, so it's okay. We won't get sacked, I don't think. Mid-table is a joke. But anyway, on to the first match of the season. Alright, so no, no sharpness in the team, but that's because no one's played a match yet. Um, I have sorted out all of their kind of fitness plans, and I put a, I put them all in balance because it usually works, but um, obviously, yeah, no matches played yet. As you can see, we're on legendary five minutes, um, so the same as last season. Obviously, it's going to be a, a lot harder against Premier League teams, but we have a better squad, uh, a little bit anyway. Um, some low rate players, actually, Johnny Rosalo is ready to play on the pitch. Could have got him high rated, but yeah, I didn't put him on a development plan as of any of the other players. So that's why he's so low rated. <laughs> but here we are, looking at Car Road, back for another season in the Premier League. Obviously, nowhere near these kind of standards in real life. 17th we're sitting in the in the championship right now, after a really poor defeat to Blackburn on Sunday, which was one of the worst performances I think I've seen over the last two seasons even. I mean, I thought last season was quite rubbish. But it's turning out to be even worse. Um, but let's just focus on this and stop being depressed or because of the other Norwich team. Right, we're going to have to... Right, well done, Intua. His first bit of defending. Dak is in the middle in some space. He's going to try and run away from his man. Sergeant's in the middle. And it's in! Our first shot of the career. Well, I say of the career. Of the new career, basically. Um, looking at the ball at the top. Norwich won. Brent... Brentford nil, 11 minutes in, and he salutes, because there's a brilliant start here in the Premier League campaign for us. Josh Sargent makes it 1-0, and it's a lovely finish. I thought I, I forgot to um, low dri drive the cross. Um, I dinked it to him, and thankfully, Sargent's volley is brilliant. Um, but yeah, I should have done the low driven cross, but it is what it is. We still score, it doesn't matter. Lovely finish from Sargent, and well, first shot of the second season is pretty good. 1-0. And he shot the keeper. for Bruggen's first save is right at him. And he, well, he nearly squandered it there. Got to be careful. The, he's only 21, I think, as well, which is really brilliant. It's going to be a tough task. Intua again. Well done, Intua. It's been brilliant. So, really? 
That was supposed to be back to Insua, but you pass it onto Pidge. Okay. It's a brilliant touch. I don't know. How? How? <laughs> Literally how? Well, he's, he's taken it out for me, you know? He just run all that way, gets past Angulo, and takes it out. But um, since we've scored, that's been too good on our behalf. Um, Brentford are keeping a lot of the play down these wings, and it's not fun to deal with. Right, here comes Kone. And Kone finds Sarah. And we're, the break's on. Daka's through. Surely for Daka, it's going to be 2 0. Daka scores and on the break. 2 0, 35 minutes in. Brentford have had all the ball down the wings. But as soon as we got it forward in a decent position, Daka's shot is brilliant. And the two strikers, uh, well, have got two goals here. It's a brilliant start. I think we've only had two shots. So, really nice to see. And Brentford have just fallen apart in, in defence. They can't. Can't um, stop us on the counter at all. Good save. That was really good reaction from the keeper there. Not a bad shot, but there's a pool of Norwich players to kick it through, and he's managed to get it through us. So that's going to be half time, surely. All right. Um, well, we haven't had too much attack and play. They've had way more than us. Although they haven't had too many shots either. They've just been kind of keeping the ball around the corner flags, which has been weird. But um, we've got the two goals here. With our two shots, I think. So, it's, it's a decent scoreline. But we need to really keep the ball a bit more in the second half. Good tackle, Sarah. Brilliant. And now here we come. I'm going to try and get it to Daka. And someone's playing him on. Really bad defending. Daka for 3-0, maybe. Daka. Well, the keeper gets a hand to it. But it's gone in. It's an awful save. And Daka's powerful shot has made it 3-0. Well, this is so unexpected, but I'm I'm not gonna get too um I'm not gonna get too excited because yeah I was saying this earlier how we absolutely breezed past all three teams in the first video of the um the first season, um and then it all went downhill so beginner's luck maybe <laughs> uh, three 0 though against Brentford in the first match of the season. Good tackle from Angulo I think. Oh that was dodgy. And we know sometimes they can squeeze it between the keeper and the post. So, good he got the foot in there. Might make a sub myself, actually. All right. So, we're going to sub on. Boy signs on the left. Dominiguez, the CDM, taking off Kone. Because um, it doesn't even feel like Kone's done too much. And Angulo's come off for Castro, another decent centre-back. Just to get some game time for the, the new boys, really. And, obviously, Boy signs. And good stuff from my number seven there. I think that's boy signs already, so. Don't know what he's doing. He's wasting his own time. Good save. God. Good. Wow, the keeper's done well there. It's just so frustrating. They just took so long to turn and then get the ball through, but the keeper's made two saves. And the goalkeeper's been, yeah, really good. He's made, like, four good saves to keep a clean sheet so far. Boy signs is through after being tripped up. And Fastnax on the back post. Awful clearance, but it's gone off blooming neck. It's gone off the heads of the blooming centre-back. And there's going to be no celebrations here. Because, well, that is quite awful. It's gone off his maybe his shoulder. Fastak volleys it. Bottom left-hand corner. And just, we're just deadly on the counter. I think it might just be a case of first match of the season is going to let us off or something. Because we checked before the match. It's on legendary, so I don't really know what's going on. Um, but well, we're, we're going to win it for, for sure. And 4-0 is brilliant. From Gabriel Sara. Sarah to fast next again, maybe. No. Can't wait for some more link up play between them two. Three minutes under the dawn. And we've got the header in his fast nacks. We might be top of the league off this with five nil up. I don't know what's going on. Fast nack brace. It's a lovely delivery, I think, from is it Sarah? I don't know. Someone. I have to watch it again. But fast nack's got ahead of this time. Um well we had the corner, he didn't get the header then, but another delivery in. He's got it this time. Um, so, I don't know. Brentford have been okay. They've had way more possession. They were just on the counter. They're really bad at defending. And just got ahead of his man. Their defence is all over the place. 5-0 is brilliant. Oh, it's a brilliant finish, to be fair. You're not going to save that keeper any time. 5-0, Norwich City. First match of the season. There we go. 5-0 victory here. I think it may be beginner's luck um, in the second season in the first match. I cannot see... Well, I might be... I was saying this. It might be the biggest scoreline we're going to get this season 5-0. <laughs> because I think we only beat Ipswich 4-0 last season. And it's on the same difficulty. I don't know. It was a bit weird. But fast snack for two goals already. I'll see our top scorer in the... 
in the first season. Alright, so, well, after the first match played, we're top of the league due to goal difference. I can already guarantee that's not going to last, but um, I'm just going to see who else will play in this video. Alright, so we've, okay, so we've got Wolves and then Preston in, in the cup. So, actually, you know, if we beat Wolves, we should be able to beat Preston as well. So, alright, the Wolves team, decent setup, I mean, some pretty decent players in their squad still. It's going to be, yeah, probably a quite tough match. They've drawn their first match, though. Can you up top is going to be so awkward to deal with, I feel. Um, and they've got a balanced midfield and defence. Alright, so the only change I'm going to make for this one is putting Boy Signs on the left, because he says he wants to play, and I don't think Johnny Rowe did too well, or, do, or too much anyway. Um, and he's also got quite low stamps still as Johnny Rowe, because of the lack of development I put him in in the last season. But um, yeah, same squad, basically. They've already got a chance here. Near post shot for Wolves, five minutes in. As soon as we lost it, it's Cunha with a shot. I was saying he might be an issue, but good play from Wolves, to be honest. Probably better already than whatever Brentford were doing <laughs> in their match. Good shot again. Keeper's been worked today properly already. He's made like seven or eight saves, to be fair. And another near post shot. That should have gone in. Wolves are all over us in the first ten minutes here. Oh, he's passed it this time. Oh, here they come. Oh, here's Kun I think it's Cunha. Good save from the keeper, Blumenek. The keeper's proven to be quite a good signing so far. I mean, I know it's only been a match in a bit. But he's made some brilliant saves. Surely he's off. Off the post. Clear it. Thank you. I thought he was offside. <laughs> he's hit the post. I don't know if the keeper got fingertip to it. Probably not. Ball through to Dakar. Can we finally get a shot off? And maybe even a goal. Shoot, Dakar. Oh, just wide of the post. And I think that would be unfair to Wolves, to be honest, if we went ahead. Because they've been quite good. Dakar's going on the run again. And he's going to maybe get past his man. He's going to take it on the inside. He's managed to get it on the inside. Sergeant, it's 1-0. We're not in the lead. Deservedly, for sure. 30 minutes in. Our second shot's gone in. Josh Sargent, the two strikers. I mean, they've, they've got the goals so far. In both matches, they've been really good going forwards. And to be honest, I don't think we deserve to be um, to win in here. Wolves had a lot of chances. The keeper, our keeper, made a lot of saves. And they hit the post as well with Wolves. But another ball through here to Sargent. I mean, he, he has to hit that on target. He does. Jose Sar can't do the theatrics like... What's our keeper's name again? I've forgotten. <laughs> to be honest, I've already forgotten what his name is. Um, we have to give him the ball to remember. To analyse his name. But two goals and two for Josh Sargent. Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up with Cabral. He's going to shoot at the keeper. And the keeper collects it. Another crucial save. But it's at him this time. Wolves should have scored in this match. Ball through to Dakar. It's lovely. He's on side. What could Dakar do? He's going to get past his man. Dakar. Oh, just wide. That could have been two. That would have been even more undeserved, to be honest. Let's see how close it is. Uh, we're counter-attack FC right now. It's nowhere near. It's, it's, it's a bad shot, to be honest, from Dakar. But, yeah, we've gained some good chances in one-on-one -on -one situations. That's going to be half-time. 1-0 to us here. It could have really gone any way. I mean, we could have even went 2-0 up, to be honest, at the end of that half. However, I think Wolves are unlucky to not have scored. Some really good um, defending from the goalkeeper. And he's proven to be such a good signing so far, and it's only been a match and a half. But 1-0 um, here is a bit lucky for us. Right, lovely. Sarah's finally got the ball here. He's lost it. And that's the goal. Fair enough to Wolves. We should have kept the ball there when we won it back with Sarah. And Cunha with the goal. And you, you just have to say, Wolves deserve to really be drawing this match anyway. Um, but yeah, Sarah loses the ball there really badly. So many Wolves players going forwards. And yeah, the keeper can't do anything about that one, to be honest. He's tried his best this match. And that, that shot is a bit too close for comfort. It's 1-1 here. And you just can't complain about the, the scoreline, to be honest. First goal we've conceded, though, this season. Dakar. Gonna let Boy Sign smash it. Put him in heck. Maybe he should have shot with Dakar there, but I thought it was a bit too high for him. I don't want him to header it, really. Um, we've got a shot here, and we have a corner. Going to get the header there, surely. And we made it 2-1 out of nothing. It's the corner goals. we love to see them back in the second season of the career. Sergeant, I think, in that position this time. Usually he's fast back there. 
But we're back in the lead, and again, I think the Wolf Sands are booing because actually, I think they deserve to be in the lead. Wow. And the Norwich fans celebrate here. I mean, it's just one of those things. Corner goals are just basically luck, really, aren't they? Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Sergeant's got three men around him and has still got the header, so. <laughs> Good delivery, but should do better there. Um, but we're back in the lead somehow. <laughs> I really don't know how. But the the manager's still loving it. But he'll be he'll be thinking to his he'll be saying to his players like you really need to concentrate and defend better than letting that first goal in. Don't let them get the ball to one of these players here. Yeah, I knew something like that was going to happen. The keeper plays so well and he gets mixed with the shot. Two to eighty two minutes. Brilliant. Just my kind of luck in it. Um, I mean, he, he just opens his legs and he just slots it through him, to be honest. We don't even have to watch that again. Quite an easy finish. First drives it under the keeper. That's frustrating, because the keeper's played really well so far. Oh, well. 2-2, two -two, though. And still, I will deserve to not be losing anyway. So, like, I can't complain. We've had two counter-attack goals. And, well, one's from corner, actually. It's good. It's a good chance. Good save from the keeper. Big, big, big save. And the keeper's well wild up for that one. Blim a neck. He's having to go at his defence, but it was, it was a good bit of play from Wolves there. It's gone as far as him. Oh no, no, no! What a tackle! He's offside. It's all good. It's fine. All right. We're, we're, honestly, we'll take that. I know we're winning two points in this in this match, but. I mean, Wolves had all the chances. We had, like, three or four, maybe. And we got a corner girl, so we definitely probably didn't even deserve a point out of that. But we managed to get one, and, well, it stops them getting three, I suppose. So that's always good. But um, I haven't lost yet this season. All right, on to Preston now, playing a five-back. Obviously, we know all about these championship teams and how difficult they are to play against. And honestly, I mean, I know we've done all right against these first two teams, but they, they could pose a big problem here. So I'm not going to underestimate them. Alright, so we made a lot of changes to the starting eleven for this one. Um, I'm not too worried about how the Cup matches go this season. Obviously, the objective in the first season was to get round to 16 of the FA Cup, which we didn't do, but I don't think we have any objectives to do with the Cups this time round, so it's all good. Um, but actually, I forgot to put Dimit on the pitch. That's the one player I'm about to put on the pitch. But um, here's the team. The only player we're going to play that's been in the starting eleven so far is Sargent because I've only actually got three strikers, which isn't very good. Um, we might need to loan one in. Uh, in the well, we could do it this window. Uh, I'll see what we could do. Simple Vader is on the pitch now. Bauman. What can Bauman do? The centre forward. It's going to run through, but pass it now. Shoot. Goal. Easy. I think it's Kenny McLean with the goal. He's playing his centre mid on this one. And he's the captain, of course. He's not going to get playing much this season. Um, because, obviously, we've got Kone now and Sarah in the team. Actually, I've got to mention, I, was, I sold Nunez, but such a s simple goal for us. I mean, we got a bit lucky to keep the ball in, in this kind of area when they tackled us and it went off, bounced off my back. But um, we managed to finally work a goal. Lovely pass to Kenny McLean there. And, well, just like that, 1-0. So, quite simple for us, actually. <laughs> and, of course, one in. The keeper's just going to collect it. Angus Gunn, of course, in goal for this one. Um, and he's got brilliant competition and for Bruggen. I mean, he was brilliant against Brentford. And he made some decent saves against Wolves as well. I mean, obviously, one mistake to give him the second goal. But, I mean, you, you can't save them all, really, can you? Now, Sargent's through here. Really bad defending. Sarge's going to get shot here. It's 2 0. And that's their fault. I mean, it does that to me as well when I'm defending. Just the, One of the centre backs always just goes with the runner. And if you hold the line, they, they're offside. But for some reason, the game just doesn't do that at all. Even on legendary, which it just shouldn't do. But um, 2 0 here. Pr bit, of, bit of a cheap goal because of that. Obviously, happening that. Whatever number he is. Well, the, the left centre back. Just. I don't know what his defensive awareness is, but why would you do that? <laughs> Sargent makes it 2-0. I think Sar and also Sargent scored in every match so far. Um, which is brilliant. Three goals in three games for Josh Sarge. And we're winning 2-0 here. Comfortable lead for us. Quite early on still, 20 minutes. I mean, we're going to have to hope none of them get injured. And Sargent's won the ball here again. Preston don't know what they're doing. Sargent could make it three here, and he probably will. No, he won't. He's missed the target. Sargent's missed it. 
And I'm 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 wondering how he's missed that. To be honest, I mean, he just scored a lovely finish. If he he just needs to do the same thing, he's close to the goal even. Whatever. Um, still two 0 but it should be three. Oh, he's they're doing all right now. Uh, Preston there. Trying to skill me a bit, and it's working sometimes. It's bad, bad delivery though. They've tried crossing it in a couple of times, and both times haven't worked. All right, Kuevis is going to have to run here, but he has got 70 pace. He's got to his man. And they've just passed against Kenny McLean. Well, Preston are playing better now. Honestly, not too much has been going on since we scored the second goal. I mean, Sargent had a good chance, but aside from that, I mean, Preston have been doing a bit better, and it's just been a lot of congested midfield play. But 2-0 um, here at half-time. I think it's a fair scoreline. Preston started to play better there in that last 15-20 minutes, but I mean they haven't done enough to score a goal yet. They I don't think had a shot. So Angus Gunn again a third cross from Preston and it's been collected by Angus Gunn. He's done that twice. Here come Preston. They finally got a shot off in the score. Of course they have. I keep saying Preston have created nothing so far. And they've finally got one shot, not even in the best area, and the ball's not moving, and they've scored. Um, and they've decided to go in the box for this one. I mean, they kept crossing in, which wasn't working. Shouldn't really score from there, though, but it's a good finish. Um, now, 2-1 is a dangerous scoreline, because they get one more, you know, that could take it to penalties, which is what we don't want. Right, so we've subbed on Dakar. I think Fastnacht, Kone and Brady for his debut at right back. 17-year-old. Um, just because we haven't really been doing very well. Um, but all of those those players are, you know, towards the right-hand side of the pitch. So that's the change we made. And, of course, like, we're going um, left to right. So we're going to be using those players more than the other ones up top. Lovely ball to Dakar, who's over here for some reason. Going to slide it in the middle to Bauman for a goal. He's missed the target. Bauman just can't find it at all. Um, but I think that's only his first shot anyway, so not too bad. And he's quite low rated anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But, I mean, another goal would be quite helpful when it's only 2-1. I, I was going to give it to Dakar, but here's Dakar. Dakar's going to shoot from the edge of the box. Oh, not a bad shot. I think it was actually at the keeper. Can't tell from this angle, but just went over the keeper, I think. So not a great shot, actually. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to top left-hand corner there. Yeah. Good save. That would have been really annoying. Because actually, they haven't really had no shot, shots at all. And, well, they're celebrating with the keeper. Because it's a big save with only 10 minutes left. Good good bit of play, though, from Preston. And Angus Gunn's just put his arm out. Got, got the save. Back to, well, it's supposed to be back to Dak. It's a lovely through ball. Dak's going to shoot. Good save, keeper. Feels a bit like end to end stuff right now. Um, I mean, it has done since, again, I'll say the sub players have been subbed up. But um, Preston's still creating. We're creating now, so fair enough. Can we get a goal here? No, it's wide. Two minutes left. Maybe Preston will be the, the team to get the last chance. So not in a comfortable position still. Just play the whistle ref. Oh, come on. Where's the defender? All right, he's, he's blowing anyway, but Blumenek, no midfield there. 2-1 um, the final score. I think Preston only really had two good chances. That big save from Angus Gunn has kept us to win here. And, I mean, the first 25 minutes was all us, and that's why we've won. Um, their defence, again, that's re the reason we won is because their defence, when we start going forwards, just completely out of it. And that was the same for when we played Brentford in the first match. Well, after two matches in the Premier League today, we're sitting pretty in second place. Obviously, it's only two matches. That could change very quickly, you know. Um, but that first performance against Brentford was really, really promising. Um, I think mostly was due to their defence because they had loads of the ball. I think all three teams that played today had way more possession than us, to be honest. Um, but we're, well, we're, we're in second place here. Um, Newcastle have two wins and two, of course, um, beating some decent teams. But um, I, I'd, I'd say let's not get too overexcited. We know what happened in the first season. We we won all three matches in the first video and then we had a really sticky period where we couldn't win like, consistently for a long, long time until probably even the end of the season. So um, we're going to have to concentrate as much as possible, not get too overexcited and take this momentum of three wins in a row, hopefully, 
and beat the next team we're playing, which is Brighton, I think. So, again, another team that we could potentially beat, but we know how good Brighton are, obviously, with the players they have. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the return of the career. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a, a bit of a weird one, obviously, with the simulation of the last season. And we're lucky to get in the Premier League, really. But again, I'll say, like, the game loves Norwich, which is why we got promoted through the simulation. Um, but um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. This will be me, Nicomenis, signing off. And peace.